Marshall Warren Nirenberg is known in the world of genetics for cracking the genetic code by translating codons into specific amino acids. Nirenberg was born in New York City on April 10, 1927. He was a son of Harry, a shirt maker, and Minerva Nirenberg. At the age of 12, Nirenberg contracted rheumatic fever. To help him recover from his sickness, his family moved to Orlando, Florida so that he could benefit from the subtropical climate there. Growing up, Nirenberg greatly enjoyed bird watching, which attracted him to the field of biology. He also spent a lot of time exploring swamps and caves, as well as collecting spiders. At a young age, Nirenberg was inspired by his intense observations of plants and insects, which led him to question life itself in its very essence. The chemistry of life fascinated him, and he wanted to find out how all forms of life were related to each other. Little did he know, he would later discover the molecular language that is found in essentially all species. Here are some flamingos commonly seen by Florida bird watchers, and depicted here are two sketches of spiders drawn by Nirenberg himself in one of his scientific journals. In 1948, Nirenberg received a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Florida at Gainesville. He stayed at the University of Florida to get his Master's of Science degree in zoology. His dissertation for the master's thesis was an ecological and taxonomic study of caddisflies. Then in 1957, Nirenberg received his PhD degree from the Department of Biological Chemistry from the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. His PhD work centered around sugar transport in tumor cells. More specifically, he observed the transport of hexose in ascites. After getting his PhD, Nirenberg took part in a two-year postdoctoral fellowship at the American Cancer Society. In 1960, Nirenberg became a research biochemist in the section of metabolic enzymes at the National Institutes of Health. At this time, Nirenberg began his work on deciphering the RNA code. Being curious, dedicated, innovative, Passionate and adventurous, Nirenberg's personality pushed him to make revolutionary discoveries in the field of genetics. His love for nature also motivated him to understand organisms on a deeper level. In 1968, Nirenberg was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly with Robert W. Hawley and Har Gobind Karana for the interpretation of the genetic code and its function in protein synthesis. Nirenberg's laureate research involves studying the steps that relate DNA, RNA, and proteins. He knew that DNA was transcribed into mRNA and his research led to the discovery that mRNA is translated into proteins. Working with Heinrich Mathe, Nirenberg found out that mRNA can be used to decipher various aspects of the genetic code. Synthetic RNAs were made in the lab through the enzyme polynucleotide phosphorylase, which does not need a template to function. Polynucleotide phosphorylase works by randomly linking with any RNA nucleotide surrounding it, and that's polynucleotide phosphorylase depicted. In his research, Nirenberg used homopolymers, which are RNA molecules consisting of only one nucleotide. After a little bit of incubation at normal body heat temperature, radioactive measurements indicated that long protein-like molecules had been synthesized. These homopolymers created long polypeptides containing only one type of amino acid. Nirenberg started off with only uracils in a test tube. He noticed that the only amino acid created from the uracils was phenylalanine. Therefore, he concluded that the codon UUU always makes phenylalanine. Using the experiment with the triple uracil codon as a model, Nirenberg and Mathe repeated the experiment with different homopolymers and found that the codon AAA, containing three adenines, made lysine, CCC made procine, and GGG 
containing three guanines, was translated into the amino acid glycine. They also discovered that by replacing one or two units of a triplet with other nucleotides, they could direct the pro production of other amino acids. After Mathe left from the NIH in 1962, Nirenberg continued working on deciphering the genetic code. Accompanied by a team of postdoctoral fellows and research technicians, Nirenberg deciphered all 64 of the RNA codons for the 20 major amino acids by 1966. Since his work was so groundbreaking, Nirenberg was promoted in 1962 to be the head of the section of biochemical genetics at the National Heart Institute. He remained the laboratory chief there until his death in 2010 after suffering from cancer for several months. Nirenberg made huge contributions to the field of genetics and his work is today considered a major milestone of biological research. Thanks to Nirenberg's intense dedication to scientific discoveries, he unlocked the puzzle of codons and the specific amino acids they are translated into. After Nirenberg's death, Dr. Francis Collins, the National Institutes of Health director, remarked that Marshall's wish to explore turned into a revelation about biology that is almost unmatched in terms of its consequences for understanding of life. He was not only a scientist, but a mentor's mentor. We mourn the loss of a true scientific hero.